Hey friends, welcome back. This is a very impromptu video. Today was supposed to be a let's sit down, do my cross listing, take lots more photos, but instead we're gonna go thrifting and I'm going to take you with me. I have been up since 6 a.m. today. I am on my second cup of coffee. I had to go give blood, so I'm hungry. I drove to the blood work. I came back home, grabbed the kids, took them to school, came back home, and I need a nap. And I don't want to nap the day away. I am known to, if I take a nap, I will sleep for three hours. So I'm going to do something productive, and that means finding some awesome treasures to flip on a Poshmark, Mercari, Kitizen, and eBay. Y'all, I, I know a lot of y'all told me, but I'm kicking myself for waiting so long to cross list to eBay because I have been making a sale, at least one sale a day, every single day for the past five days. And I only started listing over there two and a half, three weeks ago. So that's fantastic. I am gonna give a PSA. If you are a mom and you had high blood pressure during your pregnancy, not even preeclampsia, I was never officially diagnosed. Like I went through all the, the testing and all of that, but my blood pressure was very, very high, like right at that limit before I needed to be on the medication. Anyway, apparently three to five years after giving birth, your high blood pressure can come back and you could have no idea. So friends, mom friends, make yourself an appointment. I know if you're like me, you don't maybe you don't keep up to date with your yearly female checkups, but I happen to go, it's been several years now, um, I think maybe five, and they took my blood pressure and it was like 165 over 105 and I felt totally normal and my doctor said I was a walking stroke waiting to happen. So I had been on blood pressure medicine ever since and they said sometimes this is just, it just happens. So it's not my diet, it's not genetics, it is just the joys of being a mom, right? One of those things. So I give blood, I have a bruise already. I'm a very hard stick. Every six months I have to have my blood work done because I take high blood pressure medication. So. Maybe TMI, but I feel like if one of y'all go to the doctor and find out you too have like hidden blood pressure issues that you didn't know about, I could have helped save your life. All right, let's go do something productive. Let's go to Goodwill. Phew, it was a long five minute drive here. I really should be going to the bins because I know the prices have just gone crazy at Goodwill. But to be honest, I'm so tired. The thought of driving 20 minutes, I just, I can't do it. And then I'm like, dang, Amanda, you only got up an hour earlier than usual. But you know what? I remembered I got up three times last night to go to the bathroom because when you're a hard stick like me, you drink like three gallons of water the day before to try and make it easier. And it seemed to work out. I only had to get poked once today. Usually it's three or four times. So, all right, let's go see if we can find some things that they missed and maybe did not price up. All right, let's go. My first stop is always the shoes, though I didn't expect to find many. I did pick up a whole lot. These are the brand Anew. I did check comps and those came home with me. I will try to pop up some comps of the things I decided to take along, but they have seemed to price many shoes at the $15 mark. Another pair they missed, these Hey Dudes. $5.99 seems to be the lowest price I'm seeing in the adult shoes. And I just kind of was looking, you know, Vans with no laces, 10 bucks. If you really are willing to, to dig and look, you will find some gems, 15 bucks. They were pretty worn. This is funny. Look at this obviously fake Louis. It was terrible. It was so, so fake, $20. This coach was like a disaster, $20. But I did find one gem, something else that they missed. I will share this in the haul. And I mean, they even had some Ipsy bags priced at $5, the ones you get for free. Heading to Kids Shoes, my favorite, $5. That was kind of their go price. These Adidas, I would have picked these up if they weren't $8, but those were Target shoes. These are an amazing brand, super beat up, even for $4, Seek High Run, but I do find another pair later. These are Walmart jellies for the same price, but these are great. Some salt water sandals, five bucks, new condition. Look at how worn these Cat and Jack shoes are, $4. 
So I gathered all of the things I would have purchased. Yes, I did put them back, but I wanted to go over them with you. This is Zara. Zara for kids can do well, not at that price point, but just the really cute and trendy things like these, so cute. Batman, look at the knees, great condition. I would not pay $8, but if you find Zara kids at the bins, I would definitely pick it up. This, I have sold this brand Rosalina a few times. This is a Southern smocked, beautiful, did have one little spot on it, or I might have actually paid up for that just because I know I've sold this brand. It's great quality. It was only $6, but I did see a spot on it. This is Dot Dot Smile. I've talked about this before. Definitely would pick up at the bins. There is a following for this brand, but not at $6. I'll pay that for personal use, but you definitely want to look for this slinky material versus what they call warm that shows pilling. This does not. Boy Scouts. I'm a Boy Scouts mom. This stuff is expensive. I always pick this up if I see it for less than $5. It will sell. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. There's always a mama out there looking to save some money. Another great brand, Mayoral. Didn't want to pay $6. It did have the name written on it. It wasn't an overly cute style, but you know they've got their name on the buttons. Just definitely another not as known kids brand. Worth a lot of money. Anytime I see a stitch fix tag, I'm going to look it up. But girls size 14, 16, it's a tough sell. It was a color of the week, but $3 was still a little too high. But definitely look up anything that you see the stitch fix. Crew cuts, this was a really cute shirt. I loved the little Western embellishment. That's J. Crew's kids line. Too much to spend, but very cute. And how cute is this? Go Knowles. I went to Florida State. Anytime you find any team, even if it's not your favorite team, at the right price, these will sell, especially during football season. I did leave this one behind just because of the price, but at the bins, scoop them up. I'm trying to do better at checking out hard goods. This was the brand Hinkle, which I have this knife set. I have this knife block. I thought this might be something, but turns out comps are only like $20 shipped. So I left it behind. I was excited to find this Starbucks mug. You'll see it later in my haul. I finally found one worth more than $3. So that was a win. Over in the women's, I'm. this is a Urban Outfitters dress. I am going to show you how I check the comps for this it was really cute it was tempting at eight dollars i wanted to be sure so a quick photo i run it through google lens to find the name of the dress i search it on poshmark and it's so you see the here 55 dollars, 25 dollars. oh that sounds promising 70 dollars. and even when you look at what's listed 30 45 those seem great 55 55 but you've got to switch over and look and see what actually has sold oh here we go 15 28 11 you know so sold comps really make a difference 13 dollars. so i definitely left it behind after checking out comps moved over to the bras where typically everything is marked 2.99 was not the case today torrid curve I had issues focusing. I have sold many torrid bras. They typically sell very quickly, but I did not want to pay $5, not unless it was new with tags. Score on this Lululemon. It was not with the sportswear because it was definitely more of a bra style. Threw that one in the cart. Looked it over real quick for $2.99. I'll take it. Cacique, this one was super worn. Another brand I definitely would pick up if the price was right, $2.99, but it was super worn and pilled. But definitely keep an eye out for that brand at the bins or for less than $3. And we headed over to the women's. Now this, I was flipping through and I felt it. I'm like, this has to be something. Anytime you see an Adidas in a collaboration, I would have picked this up. Comps were amazing, but it was missing a big thread in the back. So always check comps if you see a collab. All right. I walked in the door at 1018 and it is now 159. So close to four hours, but let's be honest, the last hour I was just killing time because I have enough time now to drop my bags at home and then go to school pickup. So I think I did pretty well. I feel like every time I come here, I manifest Spanx jeans. The last three times I have come to this location, I have found a pair. So that's exciting. I spent $75. I did get some personal use items. I will show you those. I got some Easter basket items and I mean, I found Barefoot Dreams. Lululemon always makes it a good day. So I'm pretty impressed with this haul and I can't wait to get home and show you what I got. 
All right, we are a few days later. I went shopping on Thursday and realized I could not do my haul with my children around. Friday was crazy and then they were home all weekend. So it is now Tuesday. You can see I am uh, on day five of this awesome bruise. I swear if they don't poke me 17 times, I get a huge bruise, but is what it is. So I am ready to get these items listed and show you what we got. So I spent a total of $75.93 for a total of 15 items. And uh, we'll start with this one. This was my Probably one of my favorite finds of the day simply because it's not some, one that I usually find. And I think I might have showed you or at least mentioned it. Barefoot Dreams size 2, which is like I believe a 2X. It's a robe and it is in great condition. The only thing is it is missing the belt. And you guys, if you've been around, you know my mom lives next door. She loves cozy robes and so she does a lot for us. I decided I would give her first dibs at this. I did pay $7.99 and I knew she would either sew a robe because she's my seamstress, sew a robe, sew a belt, or use a belt from a different robe or whatever. So I am going to plug in a clip and show you how she felt about it. Uh, I made her try it on. I said, okay, you can have it, but you have to be in my video. So uh, I'll show you guys that. She did give me $10 for this. So it was $7.99 plus a little tax and she gave me a tip finder's fee. So I am going to deduct $10 off my total and um, say that I only had 14 items and that's how I'll figure my cost of goods. When I do trips like this, unless I have one item that's like ex exponentially more expensive, I just average my cost of goods and that's how I put it into my inventory spreadsheet. So um, let's uh, see how my mom felt about this robe right here. Okay, you guys, the verdict is in. Do you like it, mom? <laughs> You're not getting it back. <laughs> no, let's see, do it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why does it keep getting blurry? There we go. All right, let's see the whole length. Ooh. Oh, it's, yeah. it's beautiful. It warm too. Is it nice and cozy? Oh yeah. Is it worth $160? Did you pay that for No. <laughs> yes, it is. You think so? I think you're right. You think you got a belt that'll work? I think I do. All right. Yeah. Now we got to say hello to your fur friend. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Jaeger. Are you so this cute? You're going to enjoy that robe too, aren't you? You're going to sit on her lap. Oh, heavens yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, winning. So that's fun. I love being able to shop for my mom and my grandma is also with us right now. So... It's always fun. All right, you did see a little clip. I When I took this stuff over to show my mom, um, she started peeling off the stickers, and lo and behold, they started coming off really easily. I still have one more to get off and the actual sticker, but this is my first time finding a Starbucks cup that seemed like it was worth a little something, maybe 20 bucks. Um, we'll see, but I was just excited to finally, you know, not that it's like a huge bolos. Now, some of the ones with the twist tops and the straws, um, I am not, I like Starbucks, but I go there maybe once a year. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I'm excited to get that listed. I'm trying to venture into more, not selling more hard goods, but just strolling those aisles and really looking and checking comps. I would say I was in this Goodwill. I think I told you maybe for like four hours or so, but half that time is looking up comps. So uh, I've definitely gotten more selective with what I take home. I left behind, you saw all of those things I went through that maybe two years ago, I would have just purchased because I knew they were good brands, but paying up for some of those things was just not going to bring me the uh, return. So we'll see. I was sad about that uh, knife block. I thought that was something good, but I picked up these Obermeyer Kids Ski Bibs. They do need a little wash. Like there's some minor dirt that I'm sure will come out. I've said this before. Here's the tag. Um, I think blue was the color of the week. They were $12.99, which I wouldn't have paid, but I paid half off of that. Kid size five with the iGrow technology. But whenever we find bogs or Sorel boots or anything ski related here in Orlando, Florida, they usually went on a ski trip bought stuff, brought, came home, and they never wore it again because we obviously don't have a need here. Now, I knew going in that Goodwill prices things up a lot. Like, prices are just rising, rising, rising. I feel like it was just yesterday that 3T and under kids' clothes were $1.99 and 3T and up were $2.99. Now, you can see how much the prices went up. 
But I was happy to find this little Patricia Nash little bag here. Uh, I am going to condition it up a little bit, but this was a pretty great find considering they had, you know, fake Louie and they just really price up stuff but they but they don't know. This is what I meant when I walked in and said, I hope I find some gems that they aren't aware of and don't know how to price. So that's really cute. I thought about keeping it. If it was a crossbody, I would, but I'm not gonna. This was another great find in the bra section, which they have, you know, $2.99 has always been their bra price, but they are starting to creep up those prices. This is a wonderful condition, Lululemon bra size 38 double D that was only marked $2.99. So these, not all Lululemon bras are created equal. I've said it before that like the strappy crisscross back ones, you need to look at the size dot. And if they're the older styles, I will still grab them at the bins if they're in great shape. But if they're not a new style, you're not gonna get what you think. And I am guilty of being brand blind when it comes to Lululemon. Like I wanna pick it up every single time. But I am starting to leave more and more behind just because it'll eventually sell, but not always worth the price tag. Now, this is something, you know, every time you watch a reseller do a haul, I probably should have left this behind. You know, we're all going to say it at least once, but I am partial to Hannah Anderson pajamas. This is women's. It was $5.99, but look at him. How do I say no to the snowman? I forget his actual name. He's the one from the, the Rudolph Classic. The reason I bought these is because they're in great condition. They are my size for when Christmas rolls around again. And I would wear pajama pants if we went to some sort of little parade or something like that. Uh, but this is a type of thing that families like to do matching pajama sets with. And so people are willing to pay up if they're looking for a particular set. So it's, it's going to sit around, you know, because it is Christmas. But I, I liked them and I wanted to buy them. This is precious. You hear me talk about smocked items. This is what this is. Like the little ice cream cones. And I'm trying not to buy a lot of really baby stuff, but this is, and this is not even a brand I've heard of. It's, but it is from London, which makes me think it's probably a little bit better. It's called Calf Kids London, nine to 12 months, but it was only $1.89. $1 so I know that this will sell. It's hot in the, here in the South already. This is a little Southern type thing. And preppy, all the above, that will sell. All right, I did pick this up for my son. He loves this type of material, this like performance material. And when I force him to dress up or for picture day or whatever, I like him to have some polo options. So that was just for personal use. For reference, I did pay $5.99 and it is a kid size medium. So they are absolutely putting their prices up and they, they are being selective with what they're choosing to price up where it used to just be oh can you read my shirt y'all know my disney friends Woo! okay um it used to be all kids tops were 3.99 whatever it is now they are doing like some more small shop thrift stew and pricing per item these are just old navy they are some shorts i got for my son for and i'm already starting to buy this stuff for next school year so i will hold it back and uh, these are only $2.99 color of the week, so I paid $1.50 for these, which I think they're super fun. These are what I manifested into existence. Spanx jeans, super excited. I wasn't going to look through the jeans. It's kind of a chore at this location. There are so many because they're all priced quite high, but they're like shoved together. It's a workout, but I was really glad I went over and looked. These are a size medium which is great and they're not, they are not skinny leg like jeggings, which is why they're even better because this seems to be more like what's in style right now, even though your girl is not giving up skinny jeans. But these I did pay $8.99 for, that's kind of the average price right now. Oh, the dog's here, gotta be quiet. I got him a Christmas present. We do um, a Christmas stocking for the dog. So how fun is this? It's a camel, oh my gosh, love him. It was $5.99 at Marshall's and it was $2.99 color of the week. So again, I paid $1.50 and I just have a Rubbermaid tub that I start filling throughout the whole year with gifts I pick up. And that way when Christmas time comes around, I don't break the bank because I've already been purchasing items. Same with this. My little girl is obsessed with Paris, my nine-year-old. 
I did pay $5.99 for this. It's a little wallet. She doesn't have an actual wallet. It's brand new. It's still got like the foam pieces in there. Uh, she is convinced that she's going to live in Paris one day. And I say, go get them, girlfriend. She's going to be some sort of artist or she's my butterfly of the bunch, my funfetti middle child. So another Christmas gift down. This is why I couldn't do this when they were around. And an Easter basket gift for my youngest. She is obsessed with bunnies. And this is a Squishmallow. Now some of these are worth money. This is a Squishmallow clip-on. And this one's only selling for nine or $10 shipped on all of the platforms. So definitely not worth me listing, but my daughter will think that it's super fun. And this was cool. I always look through the bags. Like, does your Goodwill do this? They like put random crap in these clear bags and then shove a hole through it and hang it on the hooks. Well, I knew this is what I saw and this is what I wanted that these are the animators collection little things from Disney. Now, what I didn't know was where the toys inside. I had no idea. I took a risk. I did pay, what did I pay? $6 for this whole bag. And how do you open it? it took me a minute. To Actually, I think my mom is who figured out how to open this thing. Well, I got the door to open. All the pieces are in here. Um, oh my gosh, Amanda, figure it out. Anyway, there's two of them, which means my girls won't fight over it. And I will be putting these in their Easter baskets. I can at least show, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> what a day. Okay, so it's got these little, like, there's Elsa and there's a little Anna doll and there's Anna and there's a little Elsa. So and there, I think there's Sven and there's Olaf. Oh, and he, here's my little favorite guy from Frozen 2. Oh my gosh, love him. Oh, and there's a little Olaf. And there's a bed. And yes, this thing opens up and it's like two levels and it's their house. But clearly I am... Oh. Ha! Wait, wait. Whew! Touch and go, y'all. Touch and go. All right, so here's all the little pieces. They're kind of like little Polly Pockets. Like there's their beds. There's their bedroom. So anyway, I could sell this. They're Like I said, brand new, they're selling around $20, but I did get this. I'm not gonna be able to get them back in there. I am on the struggle bus with these toys, my Lord. Okay, bought this for those. The rest of this is just kind of a bonus. Like these are all branded Mattel. They're like horses that I don't really know what they go to. So it's 2020 Mattel. So I'm assuming maybe some kind of little Barbie thing. Is this Barbie Skipper? I don't know. And then, yeah, there's two bags of those. There's another one of these. Um, oh. This one says 2021 Mattel. I don't know what that's from in there. It looks like some little horses. So maybe this is a hammock that goes right here on this tree. Not sure what that is. I will have to check that out. And oh, a random fuzzy cat with its tongue out. And then this was pretty fun. Uh, this opens up here at the top to put in, it's missing one popcorn, but it's like a little vending machine. And then they actually come out. Potato chips. There's two potato chips, two pretzels, and only one popcorn. I guess you could put money in it. I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's worth selling, but that was just in there. And one more little bag, the shoes. Oh, how they like to overprice their shoes. All right, so I did decide to pick up these anew, A-H-N-U. I looked up comps, they looked good. They just need a little bit of a wipe down, but they are in pretty great shape. They are a size seven and a half. These Hey Dudes, I, I have a good feeling about these, even though they are only a size six, they're the Nora and Pink Peony. There weren't very many comps, but the comps that were there were pretty great. Again, they just need a little bit of a wipe down. I picked up a pair of Hey Dudes last week and listed them. They sold last night for $30. So I thought that was pretty great. You saw me show these saltwater sandals that are a big girl size two in like brand new condition. And these I showed you, these are Seek High Run. And remember, I've mentioned it before, it's, kind of, it's really hard to see because it's gold. Besides basics under there, that's the ones from Target. You don't want those. But these were in great shape. I think I showed you a black pair. I found these on another aisle. So I did pay $5 for these. 
but uh, they are from 2021. They always have the date inside and they're a toddler size 10. So lots of great factors going for them. Springtime, Easter, they're white. And that's it. Those are all of the things that I picked up. I can't believe I struggled with those toys so much. I'm not even gonna edit it out. I'm gonna leave it in there for y'all to see. I'm, sometimes I struggle with life. <laughs> So what do you think? Did I do I do all right? I'll have my cost of goods down below. I imagine it's going to be around $5 and I'm filming this on Tuesday to get this out to you tomorrow. So my goal is to get the stuff at least washed and maybe a couple of them listed before then. I've got to hide the stuff that are gifts for my kids and yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm on a roll this week. We are rocking and rolling for March. I need to get more listings up to improve my sales this coming weekend compared to last weekend, and that's the name of the game. You list more, you sell more. So please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Drop me a comment, let's chat, say hello, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Bye guys.